right. Today's lesson is uh, reasoning using the properties of Fermi algebra. So we're going to use the algebra to reason some of the stuff up here. Okay. So this topic will be a little bit much simpler than the compared with the last lesson. The reason behind is you see a lot of algebraic properties in this. So let's start looking into this. Now, the first property, addition property, if you have A equals to B, then A plus C equals B plus C. Okay. So what is this property? It's, so it's, it's very simple if you put them in simple terms. Let's say 2 equals to 2, right? Okay, anything you do on one side, you must do on the other side. Excellent. I like that. You put them in simple ways. So whatever you do the other I mean, one side, you have to do the other side, basically. So then the value of the equation that's not going to change okay so that's where the all the properties of algebra will come from too same thing with the subtraction property if you subtract one side you have to do subtract the other side and same thing with the multiplication if you multiply one side you have to multiply the other side same thing with the division and then finally we call this a substitution property and then a can be substituted by b in any given equation so what does that mean let's say a a and b are equal all right, the A and B are equal. That means in place of A, I can replace it with the B since they are equal. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Write the reason for the each step. Okay, so the equation is given to you 2x plus 5 equals 20 minus 3x. I mean, obviously, you guys are good at the algebra. It makes it makes it easier to complete this question. But the... <coughs> But the big thing here is you need to write the reasons here. That's about the geometry. In algebra, you're like, you can complete it faster, but now here in these questions, they ask you to write the reasons. And in the test exam or test questions, they leave it blank, blank spaces. And you have to write the reasons behind them. Okay? Right, next one is a distributed property. Whenever you have a parenthesis and a variable outside or the number outside, and you distribute the one outside with the inside every of the term. Okay. Um, probably going to be addition. That's right. So up to here is first we do the distributive property and then you add eight on both sides. So that's going to be addition property. Good job. Okay. And then what we have is like, yep, you're writing it negative 44x equal 88. Okay. Then division, yes. The division property of equality. And then once you divide it, and obviously you're going to end up with the x equals to negative 2. So the properties are important in the geometry. So what what property are they applying? I'm gonna read the question. And this property also can be applied to the real applications. So let's when look at it some more. When you exercise your target heart, oh, I can say it. When you exercise your target heart rate, you can be between 50 to 70 of your maximum heart rate. The target heart rates are at 70 can be determined by the formula R equals 470 to 20 minus A. Well, A obviously is A to me. So the formula for A. They did give you the equation already. So you don't need to write any formula or anything like that. R equal 0 0.70 times 220 minus A. So this is given to you. Next thing is going to be your distributing. Okay, so when you distribute it, that's going to be what, 154. I like that. 154 minus yep, 0.7. Okay, 0.7. This is the property of distributive. And then what you can you do is since uh, you're solving for the A, so solve the formula for A. So you need to isolate the A. So what you can do is you can send the negative 54 or the subtract negative 54. You can do that. And then you can divide it by negative 
Okay. So that's going to give you 154, negative 0.7a. This is subtraction. And then divided by 0 0.7. So then you end up with a equal r minus 154 divided by negative 0.7. So this is the division property. Okay. Okay. Hey, what, so what was the one? What's up? Repeat again. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Got it. Okay. So it's simple, but again, we need to care for what the writing be. Uh, the rules up here. So in Wait, the test. I have a question. Mm -hmm. What's this one? Which one? When I circle. That's a given. What is given? Like in the in the question, they give it to you already. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna we, we will see that given more and more in geometry, and whatever it is given to you with the information, you write it as a given, and whatever you're proving it, you use those uh, rules over there. Okay. And let's look into this, some uh, some practice questions. Solve the equation and then write down the steps. Okay. Solve this equation and write down the steps. That looks good. Yeah, it's really hard to write it now, so I understand that, but you guys understand the question. That's good. So all these important is properties. As long as you know what property you apply, you're good to go. Very good. I can see that. Given distributive property, adders, subtract. Okay. Add. Yeah, it's add like terms. Okay, add like terms. Okay. Combine like terms. So you can do that. That's good. It's a production property, division property, and you get the simplified answer. Looks good. Good job. Good read. Good work. Now let's look into the more notes for the key uh, concepts. So geometry is most of them, like, you know, most of the geometry is like, depends on the properties. Okay, this is happens or like why this happens and how this happens, you have to explain it to it. Amar, are you paying attention? Yeah. Okay, so uh, reflexive property of equality. Reflexive means is basically, you're kind of like a mirror image. Let's see, if you look at yourself, yeah, you can look at yourself, then you're gonna look at it. You see your picture on there. So same way here, when you look at this one, and then A equals A, AB equals AB, angle A equals angle A. So that's called reflexive property. The second property is a symmetric property. Symmetric means if A equals to B, then B equals to A. Like, you know, if you're showing these two, these two pins, and then these two pins are equal, that means this equals to this, that means this equals to this. So A, B equals to B, A, then B, A equals to A. Same thing, A, B, and B are line sequence are same, like they're the same length. That means they're equal to. If their angles are the same angles, that means the measure, measure of the angles also be the same. And this is called the symmetric property, okay? The names are important. You normally apply them without knowing them, but it's really important to know what name is there, okay? This is symmetric property. First one is reflexive. And the next one is uh, symmetric property, okay? And then we have one more to go. Now let's look into the transitive property. Transitive property, if you put it a simple, simple ways. Okay. So the transitive property is basically, let's say if you take a comparison, basically it's a comparison. So let's say I have a, a line A is this, this much, and then line B is taller than line A. And then line C is taller than B. Then I can say definitely the C is taller than A. Okay. So I'm taking the two line segments and they are equal. I could say like AB, but the same as CD. It's the same as EF. So I can say these two are the same too. Okay. So that's the transitive property. Are you going to read the question for me? Logo, you are designing a logo to sell daffodils. 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 Use the information given to determine whether angle EBA is equivalent to DBC. 
Okay. Now let's look into this. So angle E, B, A. So this is E, B, A. So this whole thing, like two and three. And then it should be equals to the D, B, C, which is one and two combining. Okay. So that's what we have to prove. See, it's, it's uh, geometry is all about proof. Like, how do you get it? And what are the used to? So, first thing is we're gonna see what's given to you. Okay, always look at the graph or the diagram and see what you what is given to you. You can see is one and three are same. Yes, Amar, can you see that? Okay, hold on. Okay, so and definitely you can see this is one and three are equal. So I can say measure of angle one is the same as measure of angle three because this is given to you i can see the picture they have the same little red lines there obviously it tells me they're equal and what i need to prove is one plus two is same as two plus three that's what i need to prove so what i'm going to do here is if i look at a what i'm going to do right here is angle what I'm, uh, I'll add measure of angle one plus measure of angle two on the both sides. Okay. So what, what property did I use here? Um, Segment? Uh, addition. Oh, yeah. Addition property. So I use that addition property here and I did that. So now I can see this angle one plus two. So what this is one plus two means? What is that comes from? D, B, C. Agree? Yeah. So this is nothing but measure of angle D, B, C. And then coming to here, three plus two, which is three plus two, but now what, what I'm gonna do is, instead of uh, three, uh, we have only three plus two, right? So three plus three is nothing but what? E, B, A. Yeah. Measure of angle E, E, A. So what property we are using is, it's basically a substitution property. Instead of that, we write it this one, okay? Substitution. So once you see that one, definitely you can see that one. And DBA is DBC, that's what we have. And then EBA we have, and it's just, we completed this property, okay? This one could be done in a different ways. You can use the uh, reflex, not reflex, so transitive property, substitution property, and the other ones too. But it's all about like coming, what properties you apply, you make sure you write it out there. Okay, let's do some practice. Solve the equation for y. Write a reason for each step. So, so use the algebra, but make sure you kind of like come up with the steps also. Looks good. I see this uh, distributed property, addition property, division property, and answer. So that looks good. Let's do the next question. Next one, error analysis. Describe and uh, correct the error in the solving the equation for x. So I uh, want you guys find out what what mistake we did and also what properties do we apply wrong or how can we make it correctly, okay? That is true. Instead of the subtraction property, they did the addition property because it's like you have to subtract the X on both sides, okay? And then you can then use the division property. Looks good. All right, the next question is, Show the perimeter of triangle A, B, C. A, B, and C here. This triangle perimeter should be equals to the triangle A, B, C. So you need to prove the perimeters are the same. So come up with some proof. This is the way we are heading in geometry. They will give you some information, they ask you to prove something. So we have to use the given information and we have to come up with the, what they're asking about. Let's go try it. The same. But it didn't give you though. Well, it's because of the giving. Yeah. So if they do not put any lines out there, we cannot assume it. Okay. You remember in the last exercise we learned about it? 
So what we can assume and what we cannot assume it. So this is one of the things you cannot assume it. It's, it's uh, the angles are given. So what you can write is, I can take a triangle ABC first, and then triangle ADC, ABC, second one. So first one, I think I can say BC is same as congruent to CD or DC. Agree? That's the given. Similarly, I can write a AB yeah. is congruent to AD. That is also given. And then finally, AC is same as AC. In the both triangles, AC is common. It's called reflexive property. Property. So obviously, the same lengths are same. The lengths are same. Lengths are same. Or the side lengths are same. Therefore, they have the same perimeter. Make sense? Yeah. But this is what they are looking at, okay? In the test, by looking at this one question, I mean, I can say right away, oh yeah, they are, they, are, they have the same perimeter. But you have to prove this by writing all this information. This is what they are looking in the test, when you take a test on this, okay? Okay, let's look into this equation. You need, just need to fill the blanks. So you just need to tell me what's the reason there, why it is this, and what's explanation to that. Okay, let's try that. Okay, looks good. You guys did a good work out there. That's good. All right, any questions on today's lesson? No. Okay, good. So, so basically properties, when you apply them, what properties do we apply? So that's all it is important about this lesson. Okay. All right, I'll see you guys next class. Bye.